Uh, this is a tough one, I say, uh, listening to these songs, knowing these songs both so well. Where does inspiration stop and copying start, Jason? Yeah, it's a great question. It's one that's uh, surrounded the music industry for quite a very long time. Ever? Um, like ever? <laughs> well, so at the end of the day, you know, the, 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 the copyright statute looks at a couple of different things, and one of which is an ex extrinsic test that looks at everything sub objectively. Um, and it, it, it examines the musical pieces itself, and it makes a determination as to whether there is substantial similarity. And then on the flip so, side, there's a, sorry to cut you off, that, that there's a subjective test that actually looks whether a reasonable person would think this is copying. So you have those two pieces of, of uh, thought hitting each other. Uh, and, and therefore, this, this strikes me as not that similar. I mean, these, these songs are clearly, you know, there's an influence, but who, I mean, what musician isn't influenced by Marvin Gaye since 1980? You know, I mean, you, you, you can't do R&B and not know Mar yeah. Marvin Gaye's work, especially that great tune. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, at the at the end of the day, there's a there's a train of thought here that um, that an, an award like this is actually a big win for music companies and music publishers who own uh, you know very large substantial catalogs, and that the value of these historical pieces of music will go up. But in, in actuality, I think most in the music business um, look at this as a actually a stifling of music evolution because you know as you said. There isn't really a situation ever in music where a feeling of an error is is incorporated into new music, and and at the end of the day, songwriters um, harken back uh, to you know to, to 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 their legends to write music, and that's a big part of how art progresses. Uh, in in early '90s, as hip hop became very mainstream, the the music publishing business went from licensing songs to licensing samples and and I, I wonder if the evolution of that business and the uh, the sort of codifying of laws around sampling changed the rules of the road in terms of sort of the interpretation of music or musical influences well there, there's a point to be made there that um, the the pattern of music popular music over the last 20 years plus um, has used both sampling where the actual musical recordings used in the underlying track as well as interpolations where um, songwriters uh, utilize pieces of prior works in their new derivative works and that has become a very big pattern over the years you've seen it um, you've seen it as you know as far back as George Harrison and Michael Bolton um, as well as um, a very big case uh, matter that involved uh, the Verve using Rolling Stones song in uh, Bittersweet Symphony uh, and and in that instance the Rolling Stones got a hundred percent of the songwriter royalties um, So because well, it was but there's it was stolen right it was clearly their tune that was recorded and used as a, as a background for that tune Yeah in that instance that is correct and there was actually an original license in that in that case um, where uh, there was a license a sampling license but the license was um, was uh, it, they used too much uh, based on what the license said they were allowed to use um, but but to, 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 to your point, the, the music business has definitely evolved to a case of using prior art very much in current art. And, you know, obviously songwriters and music publishers deserve the right to get paid for their prior art. Um, but at the same time, I think that yeah. the courts have to be very careful about stifling creativity. Right. Jason, real quick, cage match, who you got? Mar you got to Robin Thicke and Pharrell on one side, you got Marvin Gaye on the other. <laughs> I love them all. I mean, in this instance, we see oh, the we, we see we, we we see the classics won this one. 